So today I'm going to get started on a request for 30 masks that I got from my friend Kelly who works in a hospital in the Boston area and I'll try to show you different steps of the process. So the first thing I have to do is pre-wash the fabric so that way it doesn't shrink once we make the masks and then someone goes to wash them they will stay the same size. And then I iron it because they usually get a little wrinkly and I wanna make sure I cut the fabric to the accurate size. So to do that, I've been using this mat and I have fabric guides for each of the different pieces of fabric that I'll need. So I just can lay it on top and then I can use this to cut. So now for the particular pattern I'm using, I have two pieces that will be used as the back and this one piece which will be used as the front of the mask. Both of these are tightly woven 100% cotton which has been suggested to be what you use. The first step for this pattern, I have to fold this and iron down the fold. So I do this for each of the two inserts. And then these are now ready to be pinned to the main front piece. So first I pin the liner face to face, just like this. And I pin like that. And then I take the other liner and just like that. Now I'm ready to sew up this side, this side, sew this seam, and then sew this seam. So here's our first seam, and I'm going to do the second one. So these two are all set and now I have to sew up the fold that I ironed. For the nose piece so that they can be more protective and bend to conform to someone's nose shape, I'm adding a pipe cleaner. And so this will be the front of the mask, so I'm just kind of going to put it right in here. Try to line it up in the middle. This part's a little hard to get it just right. And then I pin And then I'll pin each edge so I know where to sew. And then what I'm going to do is just stitch around so tack it in place. So now I'm just stitching around the pipe cleaner to tack it in place. So 
So again, now this offers a little bit more protection so the wearer can bend it around their nose. Now what I have to do is basically iron pleats into it and then I'm going to stitch up the sides after I do that. side is done. So now I'm looking to iron up the side so that I can stitch over it. And then to keep it in place for me to sew, I just pin it down. Now before I stitch, I need to add elastic. So I have cut up strips of elastic ready and I pin these inside. So now this is ready for me to stitch. And for these to make sure that it really stays down, I like to go back over it too. I try to go over the elastic a lot to make sure that it will stand up to someone wearing and washing it multiple times. That's kind of what it looks like. Not the prettiest, but it's pretty good at keeping the elastic in. So this is an example of a filter that can be placed inside the pocket of the mask. So it's just cut up um, vacuum bag material, and I just used a pattern to trace and cut this out. So 
just want to flatten it and make sure it's getting as much of the mask as possible. And then it's just ready to wear like that. Before I send these out or pass them out to people, I always wash them. And we also recommend that they wash them once they receive them as well. So before washing them, I like to try them on just to make sure that the sizing is correct. And you can just bend the nose piece around your nose just like that.